two questions that don't seem related but are. One, do you sometimes feel overwhelmed like there's too much to do? Two, how many people need to be in a room before two have the same birthday? The so-called birthday paradox is called a paradox because the results are counterintuitive. We tend to think of this problem in a linear way. There are 365 potential birthdays, and for two of them to match, it seems you'd need about 180 people in the room. So for a 50% chance, somewhere around 90. If you draw a line between two points, you have one line, one potential connection. If you draw lines among three points, you have three lines. Add one more point, now you have six lines. The number of potential connections increases exponentially with each additional point. In reality, for each person you add to the room, you're not just adding one potential birthday match, you're adding one potential birthday match essentially for every person already in the room. Now apply this paradox to the way you think about what you can get done. Can you pursue that extra degree? Can you meet your friends for dinner after work? Can you drive your kid to ballet practice every Wednesday? Each of these seem like only one more thing, but it's always one more thing and how that relates to all the other things in your life. For example, how do the classes affect time with your partner? The number of people you need in the room for a 50% chance to have the same birthday is far fewer than 180. It's way less even than 90. It's only 23. The number of potential connections exponentiate until there's a near certainty of a shared birthday at about 50 people. This hidden complexity is tough for the so-called Leonardos, as I talked about in another video. We always want to take on one more thing, and like the birthdays, we don't realize one more thing connects with every other thing, and we can end up overwhelmed.